Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Comic Con and the trailer. So I do this every year. I did it with Supergirl the other day. I always tell you and sort of predict as to what we'll be getting in the upcoming trailer when we get to Comic Con. But also, we've got official confirmation about some changes in The Flash Season 6 suit. So we're going to be talking about it. I haven't heard barely anyone talking about the confirmation that Grant Gustin did about a month ago actually so it's been a while but we're going to be talking about that in today's video as well so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year so as the majority of you guys know at Comic Con every year they do the panel they release a trailer and that's how it goes for all the CW shows so it's going to happen again this year but this year I'm at Comic Con so I will be there I'm allowed to film 15 minutes of the panel I will be sure to do that that will be uploaded on my channel and obviously that will be the same for Supergirl, Legends, Arrow whatever panels I can get into I will record as much as I can for you guys that will be uploaded on the channel so turn on notifications and subscribe to not miss that so at the panel every year they always reveal new news as to what's going on because they get asked questions from the panelists but also they get asked questions from the crowd and so obviously they can't reveal that much but they reveal little tidbits and so what I'm expecting is news on the villain who's going to be the villain they tend to announce that I do believe when they were doing the season 3 panel you know at Comic Con in the summer I think they mentioned alchemy and we saw the trailer so they obviously talked about alchemy but then I think they mentioned Savitar and then we didn't hear anything about Savitar until they did I think Paley Fest a few months later and we were already into the season by that point and we're like oh my god where is Savitar like I totally forgot about it but they reveal little bits like that that are going to happen and they did the same last year with Supergirl they said Red Daughter's coming, she's going to be a slow burn, she's going to come eventually. So they do tease things for later in the season, but mainly it's about episode 1, episode 2, because, you know, that's what they've shot already by the point they get to Comic-Con. So I expect them to reveal some information on the villain. I think it's definitely Red Death. I'm fairly confident I would put a bet on it that it's going to be Red Death. And so, also, I think they're going to reveal the direction that they're going with this season. They always talk about themes, and although the themes aren't that important, that's a big thing that a lot of websites and a lot of people talk about, because they always mention, oh, it's legacy, it's family, whatever. But overall, in the whole scope of the season, that doesn't really matter that much, apart from, like, a little bit of the season, but they will most likely reveal that, because they do that every year. So the last thing to expect apart from the trailer, we'll get on to what's going to happen in the trailer, is I think we can all agree that I think they are going to go back to basics and I think they're going to reveal because of the new showrunner is going to be more like the past seasons. Although season 5 was really great in tone, it felt like season 1 felt, you know, maybe a little bit lighter than season 2, but... I think they're going to reveal there's going to be a bit more drama and a bit more mystery and I think that is what the show's built upon and I think it's straight away from that and I think with a new showrunner there's hope for the show to have that element of mystery to get people excited week to week and I think we can all agree that is something that has been missing and that is just evidenced by the fact that there is less talk online and there is obviously less buzz going into episodes but you know, in the past few seasons, we've had various things that are of excitement and that obviously relate to mystery, that being Nora in season four, and then this season with Reverse Slash and what was going on with Nora. So, yeah, we had little tidbits, but I think they're going to sort of go back to basics, go back to the sort of core formula of what made The Flash so good in the first few seasons. And that's not to say season five isn't great, because season five is great. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the trailer. So what's going to be happening? So I've looked back and I've watched all the past Comic Con trailers. Obviously, we will watch them year to year. We break them down, we analyze them, and sort of talk about them for the next few weeks after it's released. So I've gone back just now and I've looked at the way that all these trailers have been structured because, you know, there's different things to look out for. So these are the details that I'm expecting to happen in the trailer for season six so 
Number one, they will continue where they ended. The crisis cliffhanger is somehow going to play into it because they always do this. This is seen via Flashpoint. This is seen via everything that happens at the end of the season. The Speed Force Storm at the end of season three that shows up in the season four Comic Con trailer. Because they don't have all the footage, they tend to do that. But in terms of some seasons, including Flashpoint, they sort of need to sort of jump off of the cliffhanger unlike the Speed Force Storm one because we don't really know you know at the point when it came out like it was Barry gonna come back what point is he gonna come back or what but with Flashpoint we obviously knew that it was going to happen straight away so that was definitely happening and same thing with the Flash season 5's Comic Con trailer with Nora showing up because you know that was imminent they can't just skip over that so I think with crisis definitely happening very early and with crisis obviously going to be teased throughout this whole season as we head up towards the crossover I think what's going to happen at the start of the season and what we'll see in the trailer is we're just going to see you know villains of the week maybe we have a villain for the first part but it's going to be linked to crisis and then because crisis is going to be around the mid-season I reckon you know, Crisis may cause the creation of the Season 5 villain. I think they will not introduce the main villain in Episode 1. Maybe they put in a teaser, we'll talk about that in a sec. But, I think they're going to do a Savitar. I think they're going to introduce the main villain, if it is Red Death, after Crisis. Or just at the mid-season finale. And then that's going to lead into a full-on villain orientated back half because I think the first half is going to be focused somewhat on building up to crisis that's just my theory obviously so I think we'll see some of that in the trailer so number two we'll see the villain of the week we see this basically every trailer that we get from comic con so and this is mainly due to the fact that they've only shot about one maybe two episodes depending on you know when they start filming they start filming like really early July and so they don't have much footage to show obviously from further episodes with more interesting stuff happening like the first few episodes always has you know a villain that you will forget you know in a few weeks time after you've watched it because obviously the start of the season isn't supposed to be you know full throttle it's just getting back into the swing of things and so the next one I reckon we may potentially get a teaser for the real villain because they did this with Cicada last season they did this with Doctor Alchemy they did this with Zoom I don't know if they didn't do it for the thinker actually they did it with the samurai so just the villain of the week technically although the thinker controlled it so there is a possibility that we may see a glimpse of the main villain for the season if that is red death i think they may do what they did similarly with zoom where they sort of introduce the idea of zoom before they actually bring in zoom and yeah i don't think red death or whoever the villain is is going to appear in the first episode I think that was a mistake in the past two seasons with Cicada and The Thinker they just dragged it on way too far and I think obviously like I've mentioned this whole video is going to be focused on Crisis so maybe in the trailer we get a teaser for what's to come with say Red Death okay so the next bit is multiple scenes will be shown in the trailer that will happen throughout the episode you know just various scenes with Caitlyn, Iris and everyone what they're doing nothing too special they always introduce some of the concepts that they're going to be using in the season you know maybe you'll see killer frost maybe you'll see what caitlin's doing with her new suit maybe you see you know cisco's not here anymore maybe you see joe in ccpd in his new job so that's what i'm trying to get across okay so the last thing is a new suit will this be shown like the season five trailer with the flash ring i think this is possible and you know why I think it's possible? We're going to move on to the next bit that I teased at the start because Grant Gustin, a month ago, and I didn't even see this, but he was at a convention and he officially confirmed the chin strap is coming back. So what happens if in this trailer we get our first look at that? Because they released a poster the other day and it's a great poster, but he doesn't have any suit changes and people start getting a bit worried about that. But it's a really great poster, just number one. But number two, they shot that photo last season. They shot it before they went on hiatus. And so they wouldn't have had the new suit by then. So I'll leave the link in the description below to the video. And he actually confirms in a Q&A that the chin strap's coming back. There's going to be changes to the suit. So this is the quote. I know it's taking its hits. And he's talking in regards to the new Flash suit in season five. 
I know people don't like the chinless cow, but I love my current suit. I haven't asked anyone, but I don't really care. But the chin is coming back. The suit will continue to evolve a little by the time we're done done, and so he's talking in regards to when the show eventually ends. It will look as close as it can to the suit we all love, obviously referring to the comics. So this is super exciting. I don't know how I missed this, I don't know if other people made videos, I don't know if other people reported on it, but I didn't see it anywhere and I was shocked to watch it today that he officially confirmed, he just straight up said the chin is coming back. I am so happy, I am I know a lot of you guys will be happy, obviously Grant like he said in the Q&A knows that it's taken its hits, not everyone's a fan of the season 5 suit because I think we're pretty much unanimous that it's not a good suit, it's definitely the worst suit they've ever had and the chin strap is a thing that we really really want and so I'm glad that Grant has confirmed this so will we see it in the trailer? I think they'll talk about it at Comic Con and so I'll be there obviously at Comic Con this year so maybe we'll get the chance to ask them about what's happening with the suit. We'll obviously see the trailer at Comic Con when we're there so we can ask questions about that after so Thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the DC TV Show and Instagram at the DC TV Show to stay up to date with me, so I'll see you guys later, goodbye.